Hello guys and welcome to a very, very special edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today, firstly, I want to give a big shout out to one of my friends on Facebook um, who follows our channel. His name is Jimmy. Um, and then also to another friend named Nathan um, who have sent us a load of really, really cool Judge Dredd stuff. Um, now, the Judge Dredd stuff was originally done, as you can see here, by Mongoose Publishing, a company I have very mixed opinions on. Um, but then was sort of co-handled by Warlord Games. Um, now, I'm massively into 2000 AD. I didn't get into this at the time due to financial reasons, and I was playing a quadrillion other games. But through the joys of some really, really cool people and some good conversations, I've got a load of stuff here. So we're going to have a look at it. This is going to end up being a two-parter, because as I said, this... Stuff came by one person, and then there's another person who's sent some stuff. So, let's have a look. First thing we're going to do is we're going to dive in. I don't know what's in these. I have literally just taken out the parcel. Um, so, we're going to bust open the Ape Gang stuff first. I don't know whether it's just those models in here, or whether they've put other models in. Um, so, I'm excited to have a look, because this, to me, looks like a big, big bag of judges. So, we'll throw that to one side. So, here's the Ape Gang it shows you on the back. You get the orangutan boss, chimp with pistol, or spit pistol, gorilla in a dress, uh, gorilla with spit gun, chimp with stump gun, uh, chimp with club, gorilla with club, and orangutan sniper. So I'm going to keep this to one side because this is really cool. Let's have a look at these models. So foam, always handy. Um, cool little bases. I've been... Deciding whether I'm going to put them on Necromunda style bases or not, or... Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to count up how many models I've got first before I decide such things, I guess. Let's have a look at these models here, so... Look at that. It's like, I am super ecstatic about this, especially because I've got two sets of apes. Because um, I already own a set of apes. Um, so... I'm massively... Now, there's lots of flash on these, but anybody who's ever had mongoose miniatures before would certainly um, be aware of this. Um, look at that. That's cool. And I'm going to use these for many things. I'm going to use them for crooked dice, um, for 7TV. Um, I'm going to try the Judge Dread game itself, and I actually think I'm going to come up with some Necromunda rules around them. Since... Judges are pretty much our bites anyway, and our bites are pretty much judges. Um, so these are really, really cool. And as I said, we're going to have a look at them all because I'm super excited for all this stuff. I mean, I genuinely, genuinely am. I think it's really, really cool. Um, but as you guys know, I love apes. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Um, half my family who look like apes. You know, um, apes are a big thing for me. So let's have a look here. So these guys are the Judah, um, that's Judah 1, Judah 3, Judah 2 in pink, I like it, Judah 4, and then Morton Judd. Um, and it gives you a little bit of write-up on each of these, this is something we're going to cover in a different video. And this seems to have just been a Lawmaster bike stuffed in there separately, so that's absolutely cool. So let's have a look at this, that's whoa. Over excited and knocking things over, as is my will. I'm just going to throw this rubbish on the floor because the missus isn't in to punish me. Um, that I know of, she may have cameras everywhere because you know, women are smarter than guys at <laughs> these kind of things, you know, and we can't be trusted. So, look at that, that's really, really nice. Um, and as I said, my thing with mongoose, as I, I did joke that they're a mixed bag, and my reason for this is because I had a lot of issues with them with their Babylon 5 uh, tabletop miniature game where I bought some ships and then they never arrived and then they stopped selling them and it was a big hassle. And then I got the Star Trek ones using the same rule set and they were just horrible to put together and stuff. But... I still got them. I like the rule set. I find that sometimes their rules at least used to be a little bit unfinished. Um, but the Judge Dread system was a really, really good system. Um, 
So here we have Renegade Rolex. Spin it round. Now these don't show anything on the back. It just said, oh no, it does. Box contents, combat droid, demolition droid, junk robot, two robot dogs, servo droid with chainsaw, and servo droid with spit gun. As you may have noticed so far, all of these models have been one piece. Now I'm assuming that's not going to be the case with all of them, as you can see from like the bikes and things like that. But, so these now, why well, it was 2011, this box set. So, you're going back away, so One Piece models were quite rare at that point. Um, or at least in comparison to what they are now, whereas a lot of companies seem to be going for them. Um, I've never been a fan of the One Piece model. Um, I'm also not a fan of boxes that I can't physically open. Um, like, they all properly made this hard for me to get into. Um, this might be why I never opened them. <laughs> physically didn't know how. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything out of that box. So let's have a look at this. Now they use the more games workshoppy style of base, which I like. Um, I grew up with games workshop, so I'm used to it anyway. Um, but I do have to admit, I do love a lipped base. I think they're so much better. I think they look nicer. Um, you can do a lot more with them. Right, so some of these aren't in one piece. Now, look at this guy. That is beastly. Now, this is a, what, six, seven-year-old model now. and He's got that kind of classic look. I mean, that's the thing with these models as well. They have a very... They, they just look like they're out of the pages of 2000 AD. They really do. Um, I mean, obviously, I love Judge Dredd and I love a number of their other comics. Flesh being my favourite one. You know, um... <laughs> Going back in time and hunting dinosaurs, not what's not to love. But yeah, as you can see, massive, massive chunks of flesh. Um, a flash on these, not flesh. So yeah, they've got that sort of same kind of style. And then you've got a robot dog um, who actually has some parts that need gluing on. A second robot dog, obviously the same kind of parts. Um, and then you've got this guy here. Um, who comes with a track and again the tracks in separate bits, but for the most part still one-piece models look at that though There's a load of flash there um, That's something you wouldn't really get with a lot of newer model companies and that's you know, that's fine Now these guys I've been looking forward to these the Clegg invasion force now I think if we do a judge dread this will probably be what sparks ends up using as uh, of some guys in a filthy mage um, So you get Grampus Clegg with bludgeon gun, Clegg with flamethrower, and then three Clegg hounds. I cannot talk today for some reason. So, boom. Big pack of bases. Um, there seems to be more bases in there than there should need to be. But that's no bad thing, unless he's bagged up some of the bases for the other models. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and my decision on when I get these built and things like that will absolutely like as in whether I put them on custom bases or not will absolutely depend on me and my how much I can wait for things levels because I really really want to start building these like on camera now um, so I might not be able to wait for Games Workshop to send me some custom bases especially because this is a lot of models although I think it's £4 for 10 so it's not the end of the world anyway Now these, these aren't in one part, but that's not, oh, I think one of them might be. No, he's got a few bits that stick on here, but look at the size of this guy. That's like beastly. These are so huge. Um, and that's obviously the big boss. Comes in. Legs. Body. I wonder if he goes on a bigger, he doesn't look like he goes on a bigger base or anything either. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Look at the size of that head. Like, that's ridiculously big. And then the mouth mandible goes in separately and what looks like a separate tongue as well. Damn you, mongoose. Damn you all to hell. That could be a bit of flash, though. I can't even pick it up, so. Um, there's the heads for the hounds. I mean, some of these... We're going to be covering this 
in a bit more detail. So I will build a lot of this stuff for you guys to have a look at. Um, there's these all go with that guy, and you've got that there. Got that. So I'm gonna have fun piecing all this together anyway. And I'm gonna keep that in. I'm keeping them in their separate bundles for ease of building, because you know reasons. But look at that pile of bases so far. This is absolutely fantastic. And once again, a big shout out. <coughs> to our community in general, um, you know, we talk about it a lot. Um, and this is the, oh, what's hell, more separate stuff. So this is the City Death Squad, and you get a med tech, um, a City Defence Soldier, another City Defence Soldier. You can see what you get here, anyway. So I'm reading them all out to you. You're like, I don't care, just show me the pretty model. So... These look like just normal gangers. I'm going to pop these over here for now. Um, more bubble wrap. Again, us nerds can never ever run out of bubble wrap, really. Or well, we can run out, but I mean, we can always use bubble wrap. I know what I mean, don't judge me. So here you go, again, majority one piece models. Um, this lady here i think she's a lady um i didn't ask didn't ask her pronoun i'm just going to assume lady i think it'll be fine for a model she's got an arm separate but i like this when they do this with models um especially companies that don't really give you instructions because now i know that goes with her for definite um not that you know i'm so dumb i couldn't have figured it out eventually you know given a bit of time and a bit of practice but So yeah, these really, really nice models. Um, okay. And then this comes with a rocket launcher and some other bits. So I'm gonna pop that separate, again, as I said. Now look at this, Brit City Judges. These go on eBay for about between 30 to 50 pound. Um, obviously I have no intention of selling them, it's all about building and playing with them. So you get a female detective judge, you get the beat judge um, with, with truncheon and handgun, sorry. Um, beat judge with two handguns, um, para squad judge, beat judge with handgun again, female beat judge with handgun, beat judge with uh, bump gun. And then another beat judge with handgun. So, again, these sets, I think when they first came out, they were around about £10, £15. And you got a lot of models in them. I could be misremembering how much. As I said, at the time, I really wanted to get it, but it, I just couldn't justify it. Like, at the moment now, there's a load of games out that I can't justify getting stuff for. Gangs of Rome being one. I'm really, really interested in it, but I would end up... I would basically be kicked out of my house and made to live in the street like some kind of, I don't know, homeless fellow. Um, so let's get rid of these. Again, loads of flash. I'm not so fussed by that. Um, I get it. It's older models. It's a new, older company. Or it's a smaller company. You know, um, I guess we're kind of spoiled at the minute because things like 7TV uh, by Crooked Dice and then... Lucid Eye Publications and stuff. They've been producing some really good miniatures. They're very small companies and their quality control is brilliant. But I guess they're at that stage where, you know, they're small enough that their quality control is super, super important. But they're not big enough that things, <coughs> sorry, slip through the cracks. So here you have it. Um, if you follow us on Instagram and things like that, these will go up. And I will be doing some painting tutorials and things like that as I'm painting them up. I seem to have a lot of models here, so I think I'm probably good to get a few bits on the go. Um, and, you know, do some practice ones before I actually do some tutorials and things like that. Um, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six models are all one part. Um, 
and then you get one guy whose arm is separate um, and I love these they just feel so 80s um, and then there she's obviously there now what I'm going to do before we start on the blisters is I'm going to clean away some of this flash um, just so it's not lying around um, and getting in the way and things like that so I'll be back in a minute so we are back with what is essentially a massive, massive C of models. So let's have a look what we've got here. So we have Sky looks like, it actually looks a bit like an Imperial Guard style sniper of some description, like an assassin or something like that. Um, I'll have to consult with my 2000 ADs or some friends who know the game better than I do. Ooh. He will tell me what he is, but I'm sure I'll find out at some point. And then you've got a judge that he actually started painting. Um, and unfortunately, it's not picked up too well. Um, but yeah, so then we have more judges. Have another judge. I don't actually know if there's a dread in here um but it wouldn't be the end of the world if there isn't <gasps> yes oh, i'm oddly excited look a perkins he's an ape he's amazing as well this this is beautiful So, so, so many models here, and there's some gangers. Um, I think, oh my god, I think that's the Angel Crew. Um, it looks like it was at some point stuck to a base. Um, but it looks like the Angel Crew and some gangs and things like that. So, I'm actually going to leave that here. Because um, there's a lot of models to sift through, and I want to sort them out and stuff. What I will do, though, at the end is I'll put some photos of them. Um, so you guys can see them. Oh, look at that. One of the judges with a bat on. Um, these are really, really cool. I can't wait to sort of separate it all out and see what I've got. So if I've got enough bases for enough models, plan if I was to get Games Workshop um, Necromundry style bases, how many I would need, because that might quite quickly prompt whether I'm using them or i'm using this big stack here so i've got the bikes but they're going to be in a load of parts there's no point showing you them until they're built um i want to be able to sort these out so you can see like these are all the judges these are all the gangers these are all the apes this is the angel gang etc but mean like i just i'm speechless i'm i'm really really excited um i'm gonna sort through all this now um you know, guys, enjoy the photos at the end of this. Come back for part two, um, where I'll be seeing what else I've been sent, and we'll do some more unboxing -y stuff. But thank you guys very much for paying attention to this. I know this is technically a dead game, but I'm going to use it for other games, and also I hope to do some more with it. And maybe eventually, if Warlord still have the license, I think that's a bit of a debate at the moment. No one's really sure, or at least none of the community stuff are really sure. Um... If they do, hopefully they'll bring out some more 2000 AD stuff, because I think 2000 AD is such a fantastic rich history, um, especially like Judge Dredd, Flesh, things like that. Um, so I would love to see more miniatures. I would love to see them continue on with it, with or without Mongoose. Because um, Warlord have already got one of my favourite, obviously, things is Doctor Who. Um, so if they pick up this and then they pick up a Marvel licence, I'll be set. Um, and obviously also they do Bold Action and Hail Caesar and all those other games that I absolutely adore. Um, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Don't forget we have got a competition running at the moment. Um, I will put a link to that competition video in the description. So feel free to check that out. And thank you guys very much for watching today. Pray the Dice Gods help this smile upon you. Take care.